class. Today we're going to learn something very new. Today we're going to learn something about central idea and supporting details. Do y'all know anything about supporting details or uh, central ideas? Well, that's a very good point. Well, today we're going to learn much more about it. Our central idea is the main purpose or idea of a text. So what is the text really about? And then the supporting details are the details that go into it. So today, class, we're going to read a story about cowboys. What is a cowboy's day like? Cowboy gives the animals hay to eat. They give them water to drink. Cowboys take care of their horses. This cowboy is changing a horseshoe. So we just read those two pages. What can y'all tell me that you learned about cowboys in those two pages? Someone raise their hand and tell me. Hmm. I really like how Sally is sitting quietly with her hand raised, showing me that she's ready to answer. Sally, why don't you go ahead and tell me what the cowboy was doing and what you learned. He was feeding the cows and horses. What did he feed those cows and horses? He did feed them hay. That's right. Can someone else quietly raise their hand and tell me what else they learned? There, that's right, he, he does take care of the horses, but what is one way that he takes care of the horses? Yeah, well, Sally already said that they feed him hay, so why doesn't someone raise their hand? Someone else raise their hand and tell me how else the cowboy takes care of the horses. Oh, say it again. That's right, he changes their horseshoes. That's right. Guys, what y'all were giving me is what we call supporting details. It's what we talked about before reading about cowboys. Those are the supporting details. So the cowboy feeds the cows and horses with hay and then he changes the horse's horseshoes. Those are our supporting details. Can someone take a guess at what the central idea may be? Remember, that is our main idea. The cowboy does take care of the animals. Guys, that is our main idea of this book, is that the cowboy takes care of the animals. And our supporting details is he feeds them hay and he changes their horseshoes. Now let's look at this table that I've set up and so we can put those information on that table. So guys, let's talk about this table. Right here at our tabletop is our central idea. And at the bottom, the legs are our supporting details. So let's let's think about this. Can this table stand if I take away this leg? You're right, no, it will not stand. So this is how we're going to visualize central idea and our supporting details. So our central idea, go ahead and remind me class what our central idea was. That's right, cowboys take care of animals. So I'm going to write that very simply right here. Cowboys. And always end a sentence with a period. Let's go ahead and remind each other. Go ahead and talk with your partner. Tell them and then talk about what one of the supporting details were. All right, someone raise their hand and tell me what their partner said a supporting detail was. Oh, you're so close. Remember what he did with the hay? That's right, he fed them hay. So we'll say feeds animals hay. I'm gonna go ahead and write this sideways, okay? So that'll fit better. And always end it with a period. Go ahead and talk with your partner. Let's talk about that other supporting detail. All right, someone raise your hand and tell me what their partner said. That's right, he changes their horseshoes. So let's go ahead and write that right here. All right. That's right, and that is how we fill out our central idea and supporting details table. So now that we've put all that information out on the table, can someone raise their hand and tell me what the central idea of those pages were? Someone raise their hand. Oh, I'd really like to call on you, Tommy, but you're not sitting very quietly. You're talking to your neighbor, so show me that you're ready. Maybe I'll call on you for the next question, okay? All right, why don't you go ahead and tell me, what is the main idea? 
Oh, you're so close. Feeding the horses hay is a supporting detail. Why don't you go ahead and tell me, now that you're sitting quietly, quietly for me, go ahead and tell me what the main idea is. That's right, the main idea is that our cowboy takes care of the animals. And since you already said the supporting detail, why don't you go ahead and remind the class what one of our supporting details were? That he feeds the horses and cows hay. And what was the other supporting detail? Someone raise their hand. Go ahead, why don't you go and tell me? That's right, they changed the horseshoes. So class, all together now, what is the main idea? Yes, the cowboy takes care of the animals. And what's one supporting detail about the hay? Yes, he feeds the animals hay. And then what does he do with his shoes? He changes the horseshoes. Great job, class. Okay, class, before we go and break into groups, we are going to talk about what activity we're going to do about what we just learned about central idea and supporting details. So here, I'm going to pass out this piece of paper, okay? This is going to be a table. Right now, it doesn't really look like a table, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how we're going to make it into a table. So before you cut out anything, Right here in the middle is where your central idea goes. Will y'all remind me as a class what our central idea is? Good job, the cowboy takes care of our animals. So you will write, cowboys take care of animals. I will help you spell animals on the board, but everything else I want you to try your hardest to spell, okay? So you'll put that right here. And then on one side, you'll put the su one supporting detail. And on the other, you'll put another supporting detail. So what's one supporting detail about the hay? That's right. Cowboys feed animals hay. So you will write that. Feed animals hay. And I will put animals up on the board so that you can help spell that. But everything else, do on your own. You know how to spell hay. That's one of our words. On the other side, what's our other supporting detail? Go ahead and tell me, class. That's right, cowboys change horseshoes. So you can say, change horseshoes. Spell that out the best you can, okay? So right here in the middle is our central idea, and then our two supporting details go on either side. Before you cut out anything, you have to have these written down, okay? Let me show y'all how to cut it out before y'all move, okay? Oh, show me that you're ready. Thank you. All right, so Miss Smith is gonna get her scissors and she's gonna cut along the lines, only the outside lines, guys. Do not cut the lines on the inside, just the outside lines. All right, got one side cut. Now I'm gonna do the other. Last little part. Now that we have this cut out, let me pick up my trash because we don't want to leave any trash around. Guys, remember, you do not cut the inside part right here, just the outside. And you have to have everything written first, okay? Then, what do you do with these corners? Well, right here on this line, you're going to fold on this line. Just like that, okay? You're going to fold. Good. And then you're going to Pull it out and watch this. It makes a table, just like our chart that we looked at earlier and how we put all the um, details, the central idea and the supporting details, we made a table. Well, now we make another table and see how it stands. Now, what happens if you take away one of the supporting details? Like, let's say we take away that the cowboy feeds the animals hay. Let's say that's the side. Do you think the table's gonna stand, guys? Well, let's see if it's gonna stand. Let me take this part away. Oh, see how it falls? It can't stay up if this part's not here. That's why we have, that's why we have to have our supporting details to make the table stand. Okay, I'm gonna dismiss by colored rows. And I'm gonna choose the quietest row who is sitting crisscross applesauce, showing me that they're ready to begin. I really like how purple row is sitting. Purple row, go ahead and get your materials, get your scissors, get your pencil, and go to your desk. 
Orange Road, you can go next. Grab your scissors, your pencil, and go to your desk. I would really like to dismiss my green row, but they're not sitting quiet, so I guess red will go next. Okay, green row, go ahead and go. Get your pencils, get your scissors, and sit down, and let's begin.